And we began to hope, after a few weeks of looking around at Gusev, that maybe, somehow, we could get there and find something different. And then this absolutely remarkable mobility system on this vehicle that Chris Voorhees and, and his colleagues built for us came through, uh, and we completed this very long trek across the plains, hoping we'd find something truly new and different in the hills. Well, we have. Um, we may have a water story here. Uh, hematite forms in a number of different ways, as, as, uh, as Doug described in detail. Uh, many of them involve water. A few of them don't. But the key is that you can tell the difference between a watery origin for hematite and a non-watery origin if, if you can measure the other stuff that goes along with it. Over now to, to Chris to talk a little bit about some of the, some of the mobility issues. Um, but how you get little nuggets on the end of stalks, you know, we've been, we've been tossing around some ideas, but I haven't come across anything that I find the least bit satisfying so far. Um, I think it was on the Tennessee Rock. What did you learn by looking inside? I don't want to mispronounce your name. You're from German Sky Telescope. 